Hi, I'm Rabbi Paul Arberman from Temple Beth David in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. After the Akedah, the binding of Isaac, both father Avraham and his son Isaac come down from Mount Moriah. Avraham quickly leaves and he leaves alone. So where is Isaac? Well, we're told that Isaac dwells in the south. The particular place he comes from is called Be'er Lahai Roy. This place has been mentioned before. It is the name of the well to which Hagar escapes when she is chased out of Abraham's home. Rashi explains the motivation of Isaac's trip there. He had gone, said Rashi, he had gone there to bring Hagar back to Abraham that he might take her again as his wife. And there's a nice message in this teaching. We already know that Avraham was concerned with his son's happiness and the continuity of the family, and therefore Avraham tries to find a bride for his son. Remember when he sent his servant Eliezer to find Isaac a bride. Now here we see that Isaac is equally concerned with his elderly father, and so that he seeks a companion for Avraham. Father and son are still, in a sense, walking together just as they did on the way to the Akedah, the test sacrifice of Isaac. Father and son love and care for one another. And then the Parsha ends with the romantic love of Rebecca and Isaac, one of the only two couples in the Torah who are described as loving each other. We read, Isaac then brought her, Rebecca, into the tent of his mother, Sarah, and he took Rebecca as his wife. Isaac loved her and thus found comfort after his mother's passing. And in the process, the Torah also sheds light on the power of love as a dynamic process of completing yourself and another person at the same time. Stay safe, stay Jewish. See you next time.